in this video we will be solving uh, this problem which says that implement the boolean expression using cmos it is important to know cmos not nmos or pmos and this is the boolean expression given in the question so before uh, doing the solution so you just need to remember two uh, two three steps here so step one is first construct the n network n network means what just do the exp expression using nmos next is do the p network that means use the pmos and how to do it complement to n n network so whatever you have done in p uh, n network just do the opposite wherever it was parallel do it uh, series wherever it was series make it parallel then it will be complement right and then we have to combine so how to combine combine through common gate point okay so let us see how to do it <coughs> now see what is my expression is saying a b plus c d let me just write it again so my expression is saying a b plus c d whole bar so this is my expression right so here how many inputs are there first of all so there will be two inputs here sorry four inputs so what are the four inputs i know a b c and d four inputs are there so as i said first you construct the nmos how to do the nmos so i know in nmos so what i remember in nmos multiplication means series and positive means parallel that i know So for that you can see here the expression is a b plus c d. So I will take this is this one as let's say f one expression. This is let's say f two expression. So first what I will do I will express f one and f two. Then I will make f one plus f two. And if I implementing in uh, n mos then by default it will be the complementary. Okay. So for f one what I can do. So f one is combination of a into b. So how I can do. So a into b means it will be in series. so this is the simple symbol for your gate means mosfet no need to draw all the things source and all so this is a easy symbol i am using here and then another one so which will be my b so you can see here a and b both are in series that means they are creating a dot b the output for this particular arrangement is a dot b then another output i need what is c dot d so same type of arrangement i will do here again so i am just doing uh, drawing in the opposite way so that it will be easy and be easy to visualize so this is what c and this is your d so now what we have created we have created ab and cd okay and ab is in uh, c uh, or gate with the cd so ab so combinedly ab and now cd if you take that as two different so they are connected now in parallel here you can see right so this is one part next part is what you see next part is draw the p network using the complement to n network so how to do that so for that what i'll do i'll just take it to little bit move it to this side so it will be easy okay so now let us see so it is saying complement to the n network that means wherever it was series i will make it parallel and wherever it was parallel i will make it series now how to implement ab a into b so here you see ab is in um, a series so ab i have to do in parallel for n mos so parallel means so this is the symbol of the p mos one dot will be there remember so this is your a and here this is your b so one dot will be there so this is your b next another one if i take c and d similarly i can take like this so this will be your c which is in parallel which is in parallel with your so this will be your d see whatever we have done in this case so this is a b c d and what we have to do 
so ab are in parallel that means ab are in parallel then cd are in parallel cd are in parallel and we have to make a connection between them right so now this is my p mos side so this is i have done the p mos p mos means this is ab was series in case of n mos and now ab is in parallel in case of your c mos sorry in case of your p mos that you have to remember now how to um, how to take the output again so as i said the output is taken from the drain side so if i connect this one and this one and here the output will be taken and what will be the output now the output will be a sorry output will be your a b plus c d bar now remember if the question is not a b plus c d bar if the question is only a b plus c d then what you can do so this is the output and in the output you can connect one not get here using the cmos then you will be getting this one okay so this is how you can implement any boolean expression using cmos logic so if you understand how to do this one then how to do the this uh, nmos so this is the nmos part and this one is your pmos part if you understand how to do the nmos then pmos is exactly opposite you have to do okay so this is just a four variable problem you may get more variable also so in the next problem uh, will next video will be see some more example how to implement those